Hey you guys, it's your girl S. Catrice and I'm back with another video. Today, as you can tell by the title, I'll be doing an unboxing slash first impressions video about the Cleo brushes. Now, the Cleo brushes I had brushes I had no idea about. Um, I saw their ad on Instagram and they were giving away their first set of brushes for $5. So I bought my first pair of Cleo brushes for $5 and it came with 11 brushes. The, all the brushes that it came with were the large eyeshadow brush, the round head smudge brush, eyeshadow brush, small eyeshadow brush, blush, blush brush, foundation brush, mini flat head brush, multifunctional blush brush, and the multifunctional powder brush. Um, these brushes are supposedly vegan. Um, you, they're vegan bristles, so they're more uh, healthier for your skin. So um, that's one of the main things that stood out about the company, and they, I'm guessing they're a startup company. They did not ask me to do this video. This video is not sponsored by them. I bought the brushes on my own just to try them out, and I want to do a video showing how it worked um, on my face. This is the look I created with those brushes, and yeah. So, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and if you want to see how I got this look with the Cleo brushes, then go ahead and continue watching the video. Alright, so we're going to start with the packaging first. So, um, the one thing I can say about the packaging, it wasn't that great. It came in just a USPS China bag, and then once you open it, it was just a clear packaging with the brushes showing on one side and the thank you note showing on the other side. So, it says thank you for being awesome and shopping from us. Here's a $3 coupon for the next purchase on our store and it gives me the coupon code. And it, on the back it shows each brush and what they are used for. It also comes with a bag to put all your brushes in, it's just a simple a cloth bag and then all the brushes come individually wrapped like this. First I'm going to use this foundation brush. It, uh, it, it evenly blends cream powder or liquid foundations for a spotless finish and I'm going to be using my Maybelline Fit Me um, in the color Mocha the matte finish. As you see, I'm on the foul. I do lock this brush. It does not keep a lot of the product in the in the brush, so all the product feel like it's on my face. So now that my foundation is done, now I'm about to do my eyeshadow. I like to do my eyeshadow before I finish the rest of my face. Today I'm going to try to do a grunge look. So I'm going to start with... I'm going to start with my large eyeshadow brush which enhances lids by evenly applying color. So I'm going to use this for my crease area and I'm going to use a dark purple.
because I'm all over the place, now I'm going to go back to my eyebrows, then go back to my eyeshadows, then go back to my face. So, let's do that. And of course, I'm going to be using the eyebrow brush, which perfectly fills in the Barsis Brow Split color. And I'm going to use the same color I use my brow. There's one thing I don't like about this brush. It already has a hair that's poking out. That's kind of like messing with my eyebrows. But it does pick up color very right? And I'm just going to go back over that purple color again with the same brush I used before. Let's just make sure it's on the other side. Again, I'm going to attempt to put on lashes.
none of my lashes are on. I'm gonna finish my face. These are also the mini lashes from my website. I'm not sure. I'm not sure which style number, um, but I'll link it down in the description box below. I'm going to use their concealer brush to finish putting the concealer around my face. The only thing I don't like about their concealer brush is it's too big. Um, it's not as precise as I would want it on my face. Like compared to this concealer brush, this concealer brush is huge. So it's really hard to make it as precise as I would normally do with my support concealer brush that I almost always use. I'm going to just place a little bit on my chin area if I don't want it too bright and then I'm going to do my forehead. See how hard it is to, how hard it is to apply the concealer in areas like that. Alright, so now that I'm done with that, I'm going to take, now I'm done with that, I'm going to take the multi-flat hair brush and I'm going to blend out this concealer. Um, with this brush, it's not stiff enough for me to blend out concealers. If you're wondering, I'm looking into a mirror over here, so, sorry. To set my face with my black opal finishing powder, loose powder. Ooh, I like this brush. It's nice and compact, so it's easier for me to pick up product how easy that was to pick up the product and place it in the areas exactly where I want it. I'm going to place a lot in the areas where I want to pop, but I'm going to push it off within a minute or so. I love this brush. This is going to be my new holy grail for the upon my setting card, or finishing card. Now I'm going to use the round head smudge brush to get in the um, bottom waterline with the black eyeshadow. This one is very compact also. I love this brush. Now I'm going to use the foundation brush and I'm going to, no, not the foundation brush, I'm sorry. The multi-functional powder brush and I'm gonna wipe it off. Um, wipe off our finishing powder and then I'm gonna use it to put on my blush. Now I'm going to apply my blush with the same brush and I'm going to use, I don't know, the same color I always use, this one up here. This is my BH Cosmetics um, blush 
Tan Color Blush Palette. This is perfect. Like it lets you control exactly how much blush you want to put on your face. Alright, so next I'm going to use the blush, another blush brush, and I'm going to apply my highlight with this after I spray my face with my spray my face with my matte finish. Um matte fit the NYS matte finish spray. It does not apply as well as the brush from Sephora, but I think it would be great for if I was trying to apply a blush. And that's it for the Cleo brushes. Um, I must say I did pretty much like all of them, but some of them, they were a little too, um, they weren't a compact enough for me whenever um, I use them on my face. But overall, I do love those brushes and I will be using them more often.